So hi guys, welcome back to Miracle Mindset. Today, the L in Miracle stands for love. You are going to love yourself to miracles. Today, the last week of the program, I'm really gonna go in and teach you guys what love really is. That is not just this small emotion that we think we feel, but it's power. And I want you to start tapping into power. I want you to tap into God, the energy source of love, so that you can begin to realize who you were created to be. It's so important to understand that fear, anger, resentment will not get you there. It's so important for you to get to a place where you realize that God is madly in love with you. He is so excited to have you on earth. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what you think. I don't even care if you don't believe in him. He believes in you. And I need you to get to that place where you realize that you are a unique individual that God has decided that this world needs. And he's putting inside of you these amazing gifts and talent that only you can show up and be and do. He's giving you these experiences, whether you consider them good or bad, he will use them for your good if you show up. But first you gotta fall madly in love with you. The love that you seek, you gotta give that to you. You gotta love the hurt, the pain, the upset, the disgust, whatever that part of you that you're trying to reject. I want you to begin to love your body, love those experiences, not like them, not even like full on say it was okay, because it wasn't okay. If you had negative, bad, sad experiences, it wasn't okay, but they have happened to you and you can't erase the past. So you gotta fall madly in love with you. You gotta get back to that person that God said you are. In the beginning, he said I, he created us in his image. And when he finished with that, he says, and it was good. So there is a good in you. There is a love in you that you've got to learn to get back in touch with so that you can love you and then love becomes you. And so your experience with other people is loving because you are love. But you got to do that work. You got to go inside and sort through and figure out what part of you are you not happy with what part of you are you rejecting what part of you are you portraying what part of you have you decided isn't good enough to be all that you've been called to be because as long as you believe that and as long as that's the energy that you are attaching to you then that's the energy that you're also attracting to you so I want you to see miracles and I want you to see that God is in the miracle business and I want you to see that you are part of the miracle but in order to do that, you must love you. You must fall madly in love with you. Not from a, oh, I'm, I'm all that kind of way, but from a, oh, okay, I get it. I am worthy to be here. And that there's a God in the universe that loves me greatly. And therefore it's okay for me to love me too. So that's the work you're gonna do this morning. You're gonna start looking at your list, looking at your um, everything that you've done, the work that you've done, your vision board, and you're gonna start digging up the parts of you that you're not happy with, that you're not loving on, the parts that you think aren't worthy so that you can look at those things, be honest with yourself, give it to God and say, okay, God, this is the stuff that I, for some reason, thought made me unworthy. But I want to get back to those affirmations and that belief when you say that I am valuable, that I am loving, that I am worth more than silver and gold. I want to get back to that part. And so that's why you got to pull it up so that you're honest with yourself because God deals with us who deals with our in spirit and in truth. So we must be true about who we are. So I know this one might be a little difficult for you, but in order to see the miracles, you got to fall madly in love with you and you are worthy of love.